Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to the beautiful kingdom of Raptoria here in Going Medieval. Our second episode as this closed beta continues. You can add this game, of course, to your wish list on Steam if you're interested in getting it. It'll come out soon. But in the closed beta, I've been enjoying myself so far. We've got ourselves a, kind of a house up for now and a little storage area, as well as a few other uh, areas to build things. This game, very similar to Rimworld, also very uh, close to uh, also Storn Stonehearth with a lot of its elements, and also a game that I played more recently called Space Haven. So if you like those types of games, this one definitely will be for you. And if you haven't seen our first episode, make sure you jump back real quick and to see the uh, game set up, the uh, map generation, and of course a little bit more in the building side. Today I'm going to try to focus on getting other uh, resources here, different types of foods and things like that, and also completing more research as our people are getting close to unlocking more knowledge by doing more uh, book writing here, more things like uh, chronicles and textbooks and eventually theses. Thesi? The, 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 some books and uh, we'll see exactly what they can do <laughs> all right so let's see here if we can uh, cut down some more trees and provide our people more fu uh, fuel and such also i've noticed inside here we've got a few things that are rotten and i i think we'll have to get some people on destroying that it's uh, some cabbage that we spawned in with but didn't really uh, use because our people are more um well they're eating more completed meals and then uh, of course we can make more meals out of that cabbage but we're also growing some stuff here i think we got cabbages going here flax too so we now start making clothing inside of this building here let me see what button it is to look inside there it is oh c actually just cuts the roof off that's helpful all right so um inside we've got ourselves the uh sewing station our wood cr uh, working bench woodwork bench and also our research station here the basic research table that'll continue to generate research for us i got one person on research the entire time we got cole over here who's been drafted i'm going to try to see if i can get him to pick up a weapon of some sort i want to get him to like pick up a hunter's bow not exactly sure how to do that we got a fine short bow um let's see is that the best weapon for hunting i guess we'll equip him with that and we'll give it to uh cole uh, let's see. Can we put it in his hand or how? Oh, this actually lets you see everything that's there. Well, let's equip him with the fine short bow and see if he can go out and do some deer hunting for us. We don't really need that much food at the moment. With only five people, we were able to survive with some of the meals that are already prepared. We got berries inside there. There we go. Finally, Steve, uh, having a weapon now. Good. Now, if I can undraft him, let me just go ahead and put him on, uh, let's check our jobs, by the way. And, uh, Cole, we're gonna put him on hunting then. Uh, where's that hunt hauling he's up there on uh, where's hunting uh, oh yeah right there perfect oh it looks like he's got a little bit of a bonus to it I think is what that star means so we'll put him on hunting and hauling first and uh, that's what he'll do full time everybody else is on gathering lumber so we can build our city even bigger and eventually we're gonna go on to make things uh, out of stone so that way we can make some bigger more elevated and more fancy buildings we can always demolish these and get rid of them my friend Uthris by the way an incredible video creator has gotten access to this as well and he's very very talented with games like Stonehearth or whatnot so if you want to see a big 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 city that looks beautiful he's got an eye for detail in fact went to school for art and design so you can definitely go check his channel out. I'll link it down below in the uh, description. Let him know I sent you over if you want to see some more advanced buildings eventually when he releases some videos on his channel. He's been showing me some screenshots of what he can do, so I'm hoping to do the same soon enough. We got clay over here. I want to figure out how we actually harvest that stuff. I'm assuming we'll probably need some pickaxes and possibly some uh, shovels and whatnot. And again, in this game, we've been equipped with mostly just armor, crossbows. Oh, it looks like we have another short bow. I hope our friend actually uh, equipped that. Did he uh, pick that up? Let's see. What does Cole have on board? Inventory. Um, looks like he didn't pick up the bow. I thought I thought he would. Let's let's draft him again. See if we can make him pick up the bow. I don't know exactly how to do that. I'm really a noob when it comes to games like RimWorld. I didn't really play it at all. Um, it's a really good game. From all my friends, they've said it is, and I want to try it sometime soon. So this will just take me a little longer to learn. So if you want to give me some details on how to do anything in the comment section, please do. Oh, it looks like we have a slot slot blocked and a fine short bow. Why is there a fine? That's weird. Okay, well, maybe it's one for the ammo and one for the, uh, like, the quills and then one for the arrow? I don't know. Let's go see if we can go hunting. Where's that deer that I've been trying to hunt the whole time? The deers are, uh, this is how pathetic our kingdom is so far. They're not even afraid. Like, they'll just walk through town and just kind of say hi. Well, of course, now that we've got a bow and arrow, I don't see him anywhere yet. Let's go hunting when it's not raining like crazy. Uh, let's just go back to doing whatever, and we'll let Cole back to uh, hunting or whatever he's set to do. Hauling. He could bring back logs. There's lots of logs stored around the kingdom, too, so we'll have to get uh, to work on bringing some of that stuff back so it doesn't rot. Oh, there's one of those deer. Well, again, food not so important at the moment. It will be. It is important, but with uh, only five pe four people in the city, uh, we have four, not five. 
Um, but eventually we will have room for four or five. We also need some more beds. So let's get that going. Furniture, another hay sleeping spot. I guess I'll just rack up everybody here like uh, Japanese style where everyone kind of sleeps on the floor with a light mattress. We'll do that. And we'll let everyone uh, stack up there. Hopefully they'll build that stuff soon. Oh, there you go. You can see Cole's weapon here. Seven base damage plus 100% precision. Oh, so he just needs to get a lot closer. It's 100% accuracy, but he needs to get very close to animals. So hopefully he his hunting skills will be valued. Now I'm wondering, with the weather like this, is it a... Do you guys think it's a maybe visual thing, or do you think it actually affects, like, the building and the, the vision and such? Oh, our first other animal. A wolf. Okay, so there are threats to the kingdom, then. Potentially, our people could be attacked by a wolf, or possibly bears, or other things out there. So in time, we will see what's going on. It hasn't even been a week yet, by the way. We're only five days in. We built our house, our barn, and a, uh, a farm field there. That's pretty impressive. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, I guess we're going to just kind of continue to let people do their jobs because, uh, oh yeah, we got to get rid of that stuff. Hopefully Cole throws that out. Looks like he has been. I think he's, oh, he's actually stacking up this stuff. It looks like he's kind of scratching his armpit. Oh no, is he eating it? Cole, what are you doing? No. Oh my goodness, he was eating vegetable rot? I thought he was like packing it up to throw it out because we have uh, packaged meals here, which are valuable. We have berries. We have... Um, mushrooms around and I think we might actually have some meat that maybe we started with maybe not but oh and there's lots of research in here too 100, 100 chronicles wait a minute we have a, a ton of it but how do we only have 80 here wait a minute how do we employ this into our research 100 100 wait these are this is 300 chronicles here how exactly do I store that oh this is this is an interesting thing um, so right now we're producing a ton of it and according to this, we've only got 80 in storage. Uh, let's see, eight, available 80, uh, all allocated 250. The amount of used up for unlocked... Re oh, that's how much we've spent so far, maybe? Uh, which makes sense, because this is 100 and this is 150, so that makes sense. How do we use all those um, other books and scrolls and things down there? Oh, man. All right. Maybe there's a bookshelf I can build? Let's see. Um, we do have the wooden production building, so if we could build a workshop or a... a uh, bookshelf from the workshop that would definitely uh, be a beneficial thing for us is there anything we can do I also uh, could build a table as well but we're kind of out of room for that I'm just trying to get everything stored and uh, I don't want to I don't want everyone taking all their time building buildings um, but I do want to build another building then let's make a workshop I did say I didn't want to build any more buildings but it would be a good idea to get some stuff out of here and into an actual workshop so let's build a workshop nearby um, we need a little bit more room though also we need to put a floor I think at the bottom of the uh, shed there but we'll get to that in a minute uh, what could we put the workshop next to i plan to delete that house one day so maybe we could build a workshop over here uh next to the uh, barn uh this is the quote-unquote barn but uh, let's nah, let's put it over here this might be a better spot for it we'll leave a space of two and uh well, actually we have the campfire in the way too and can we get rid of this grass let's cut that out of the way and we'll build it right here let's cut this tree out of the way too we're gonna need a little bit of room let's make some room uh-oh Raid! Violent extortionist. Barbarian snack. What? Uh, armed, hulking, uh, pitless, the circling raiders cry out a terrible ultimatum. Their raid will be swift and brutal unless you yield coal to them now. Uh, you know exactly what they want. Uh, refuse to give in. Prepare for battle. Stand your ground. Refuse to give in to their mans. Okay. So let's get everybody on board. Uh, tutorial to draft villagers. Oh, cool. All right. Well, I already kind of know this. We click on them. We click draft. And then we tell them what they want. Uh, we want them to pick up and then positioning and movement ah so this is where all the defense comes in okay well we, we certainly didn't have enough time to prepare walls or anything like that cole you're gonna get us into trouble jill let's get you a weapon draft and let's get you a spear maybe uh let's see drafted let's see if we can get you to pick that up equip that there uh let's see steve let's get you to equip the crossbow you're drafted as well pick that up oh i have to click it this way uh let's see jill you can go ahead and pick up the crossbow then uh, let's see, the good spear, we can equip that to uh, Steve, and let's go with uh, this guy here, our last boy, Martin, with the, oh, he's sleeping, God, you guys, there's a raid going on, a sha we're, getting, we're being Shadow Legends right now, uh, equip to Steve, okay, hopefully that's everybody, okay, let's see what happens, so it's, what, the break of dawn here, uh, four in the morning, I think, hour four on day six, spring, oh, that, this is great, it gives us plenty of time to prepare for the winter, where are these raiders now? Where are they exactly? We gotta find them. Wow, look at that. We cleared out this entire forest there. Oh, here comes the raiders now. 
You guys are just chasing uh, Cole in your underwear? Okay. So we've got uh, somebody with a shield and a little... That doesn't even look like a sword. That's literally just a dagger. A little knife. And somebody with a giant... Uh, one of those uh, morning star things? I don't know what those are called exactly. Running away? What do you mean? Cole, where are you going? Shoot him. Cole, shoot these guys. Cole, you got a ranged weapon, bro. Oh, boy. Is anybody... Nobody, nobody's equipped a weapon? Oh, wait. Actually, us just kind of like fist fighting them is working. Okay, well, if we can't get to our weapons, we could at least fist fight them. Cole, you baby. Get over here. Now, now he's hovering around. Cole, what are you doing? Did you see that? Cole, quit. Oh, man. Okay, we took down one of these dudes. Apparently, he's knocked out. He has half his health. Oh, they knocked out Steve, too. Oh, there we go. Oh, is he? Oh, he's not dead. Oh, good. Yeah, Steve, go grab the... There we go. There we go. Perfect. And, yeah, some snacks, Steve. Thank you. Uh, weird. Why does it say slot block? Oh, it's because it's a two-hand weapon. That's why. So, bow and arrow, two-handed weapon makes sense. And a spear, two-handed weapon makes sense. Where is... Where's Cole? Hauling to stockpile. Hauling what? Ass? Where are you going, Cole? What? Did we defeat the raid? Okay, well, we apparently took somebody hostage. The other guy seems to have run off. Okay, so now we've definitely got a reason to build military-like buildings in this game. I don't know if this guy's going to die or or what, but apparently our people are back on building uh, hay beds. It's, it's like it never happened. Uh, Jill is drafted. Okay, let's go ahead and get you guys to chill out. I, I don't know what happened, but all right, let's return to work. <laughs> I don't know where that other guy went. Apparently, we're still under a raid because this guy's here, but I don't know if I should just stab him or if he's just kind of dead. Uh, Doyle Adler is uh, an enemy. Can we take his weapon and shield? Or is there a way we could possibly recruit him and be like, Whoa, Doyle, not cool. Join us. Set your differences aside with Cole and become a member of Raptoria. In fact, you can become a member today by clicking and tapping that join button. That's right. Did you know that? That's right. You can help to unlock greatness for all of our chat and uh, many new emotes and such by becoming a member. It's amazing. Make sure you do it. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. So I don't see that guy's health going down at all. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we definitely don't need food, so we're not going to worry about that too much. What about what about getting that research back, though? We have only 80, but th yet there's so much sitting here. Maybe it needs a floor to count? Let's try that. Let's throw a floor down. Maybe maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Probably not, but let's at least do, do a decent floor here. There we go. And we want to build some more of our shop now. We're going to build a workshop. So let's build that uh, somewhere near the forest. Or the farm, I mean. So let's build a nice little shop here. We'll make a door. And we'll make it longer this way so we can put some storage and stuff in here. Good. And they're already getting to work on it. Excellent. Seems to be easier to... You know what would be nice in this game is if there was a function where you could like click square and then you could just click and drag how long you wanted the square to be or rectangle. that make it a lot easier. Let's put a couple windows in the front. I don't know if windows have anything to do with it. Like, I don't know, for example, if uh, if a window, like, increases lighting, if that's anything that's important. Obviously, it looks nicer, but does it actually do anything in the game? That's a question that we have to, uh, I guess, answer in time. Right, let's add a floor to it, and we'll add a roof to it as well. And let's make sure our people are gathering all that, uh, oh boy, cut plants or harvest. Yeah, harvest. There we go. Yeah, make sure you gather all that hay. We're going to need a lot of that uh, because we've got a lot there. And it's going to be used, and then we need it for other stuff. So we need to replace what we're about to use. Cabbage field de default stockpile. Is there any way to stockpile other stuff? Dumping or warfare? Default dumping or warfare. Okay, well, let's make a dumping site. Uh, maybe over here. Oh, actually, there's ramps. So there are ways to get up top. I didn't notice that. Let's put a dump site here. So maybe that'll get rid of our rot. And then warfare. We can put weapons inside this building. Maybe make it a little more secure. So we can put basic stuff in here, like food and building materials for now, and then weapons and such can be in here. We can try to move our bow and arrow inside, and I'd like to build a little hunting shack out here for this, as soon as we get coal up and running on that. But everybody's working now on writing and hauling stuff and whatever else. 
Okay, what else did I want to do? The thatched roof. Yes. Excellent. Okay, things are good. Let's continue to harvest berries, I guess. And mushrooms, too. I wonder if we can combine those into a meal. I think there's a cooking station for that. I just want to make sure there's always food available. There's only three, 23 uh, there. Did this guy... Oh, this guy is actually dying. So he's basically defeated. He's just... We're kind of waiting for him to die. Possibly bury himself. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Let's see. Okay, everybody's going around to build all the stuff they need to. The roof is finally being constructed. You can kind of see a little bit of uh, what looks to be like scaffolding there. Kind of cool that they do that. And then the rest of the walls being put in too. Good. Very good. Alright, well we had our first miniature battle. Apparently we're still being raided until this guy is dead. Which I don't, even, I don't even know how much hit points he has left. A hit point? Oh, there he is. Finally dead. Hey, we can take his stuff. Good. Uh, let's see. Allow... Ah, that hand is that they're forbidden, not that not that we can't do anything with it. Uh, let's see, decomposes in seven days. Ooh, there's a carcass here. Where are we gonna? Where do we deal with bodies? I haven't seen that yet. Let's go ahead and allow that to be moved out of there too. Uh, Steve Osborne is unconscious. What? What happened, Steve? Wow, you were working that hard. Damn. Uh, well, there's more than enough beds for you there, Steve. Um, he's not drafted. Flee, neutral, or aggressive. Oh, those are other options, too. As I play this more, I'm going to learn all these little tricks. So if you know things about RimWorld and you have any tips about, uh, you know, games like Space Haven or uh, Stonehearth or whatnot or any other things that you think have inspired this game, make sure you uh, write me some good tips down below. Give me, like, a top... Give me your, like, top three to five tips on what you'd say for building first in this game. If, if, you, if you think you got a good idea, share it with me because I'd love to know. We're going to put uh, weapon storage in here, too, so that'll take care of the shield and a few things there and actually free up space in here. I just need to know what to do with these books and chronicles. We can't forbid. Apparently, they have they have a lack of hit points. What does it say there? Uh, simple tales and facts laid down on skin. Uh, resource category knowledge. All right, there needs to be a way to use that so I can unlock more research quickly. I'm sure Uthris has figured out something on how to do that, too. We can also modify our schedules, but I feel like it's just better for everyone to be up at the same time. So that way, uh, Cole can haul logs back to camp, and then the construction crews can take those logs and put them onto the onto the walls. So that way, they can be done right away. Okay. Oh, and there's another thing here that I'd like to use. Looks like we can equip somebody with it. But uh, we're not really in a war situation right now. Everybody should be basically on farming or building uh, or researching. Until we got enough people to build our own military. Although it seems like Steve has a spear, Martin has a knife, uh, or, oh well, short sword, crossbow, and a fine short bow. So we'll have to do some hunting eventually with that stuff when we get a little bit more advanced. Luckily this game starts out pretty slow though, giving you a lot of time to ex explore the land and find out what exactly, uh, you know, wh where the good areas to farm may be. Look at this, we could probably build a giant farm over there when the time comes. That'd be cool. And it looks like there is a... Oh, an herb bush. Let's go harvest, harvest from that. Maybe that'll increase our food. Somehow, maybe that'll make food more beneficial. Because people will enjoy it. Maybe they'll raise their happiness. That'd be cool. Alright, what can we do for decorations? Right right now we only have the torch lights, which have been going good so far. Our little uh, shack is now complete. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a uh, warf warfare stockpile in there. And I guess we'll make it in this corner here. I guess we do like a three, four by four. Yeah, you know what? Actually, we got this whole area here is for weapons. Can, is there a way to deselect that? I guess they can walk over it. We'll make this part weapon storage and part uh, creation of other things. We're kind of out of room here. I don't know if I can move this stuff, can I? Looks like it has to be deconstructed, to which we can then eventually make winter clothes. But we'll leave that for now. Everything will be a little crowded for now until we've built enough buildings. But at least we have our first workshop up where we then can start moving some things in there. So, per, for example, we could probably put the um, wooden workbench in here because it creates some uh, wooden weapons, so that'll be a perfect spot for that. And then the uh, research table probably could be moved to its own section, and the sewing could probably be put in the same area as the weapons as well, since it's close to the barn, and it'll give everyone more uh, living room inside there for other stuff if we need to uh, give them other things to uh, increase their happiness. Good! Cabbage is actually being uh, gathered up. Wonderful. Now, I thought I asked for this to be uh, removed. 
Let's see. I guess we just need somebody to eventually bring it over to our waste pile. Ooh. Wow, a deer just fell in there and died. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we set up a trap. An animal must have got him somehow. Uh, let's see. Apparel, carcass, food. Yeah, we just want to put waste in here, really. Waste and carcasses. So somebody should come over here um, and store that body. So we're waiting. And let's go ahead and allow to. We'll need Cole then to... Uh, he's our hauler right now. So we're going to need him to bring that over. Everybody else is busy with other stuff. Cole's picking up berries and wood and uh, transporting other stuff to the... Uh, the storage here, probably. Yep, knife delivered, for example. Okay, cool. Well, good work from everybody. Glad we got to keep Cole, rather than giving him up to the Raiders. And uh, he's a good member of the team, so way to go, Cole. Let's go ahead and build a... Uh... Oh, looks like we're actually making food here, too. Is this... Can be the... Oh, stew pile number two. Ah, can we store food in here? Oh, we're out of room again. Well, then let's make a storage inside the house that stores food for now. Let's see here. We'll put a de default stockpile. We'll put food in here. Can we put food in the corners there? Okay, so what can we put here? Let's just mark it as food. So we'll fo uh, store food inside to start with. A little extra storage. And then eventually we'll get the barns and stuff reorganized in time. I just need more people to make... We need more people to gather more resources to build more buildings... Uh, to do more things, which is the exact same thing you do in any game. Whether you're playing in the city skylines or whether you're playing in Banished, you need a lot more people to do all the different various jobs in order to keep everything functioning, especially farming. Look at how many people are working on that. We got Cole working on it, bringing all those cabbage piles back. We got Martin and Jill doing the harvesting of cabbage and the flowers, the herbs. And Steve is spending another day reading those books. He is exhausted again, man. He needs, a, he needs a nap. Steve, can you go take a nap? There you go. Now he made it to bed. Okay. I guess last time he didn't quite make it the uh, three footsteps to the uh, to the hay pail. Okay. And we're gathering more hay, too, which is probably uh, not needed anymore. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Uh, is there a way to cancel? Let's see. If I right-click, that might work. Nope, that does the camera. Cancel. Oh, if I do this, will that cancel it? Nope. Harvest... Oh, it seems like it reselects it. Do I have to do it? Oh, do I have to do it manually? Oh, if I do that. Perfect. Double click on it and then click and then you're good. Double click cancel. Perfect. Okay, so all that stuff's been disabled. We're now going to be spending our time on building and moving materials where they need to go. That's good. Uh, oh, somebody turned 29 today. We had a birthday. I need to see happy birthday down below in that comment section. I will heart your comment if you're doing that. And there's the body. Oh, the deer carcass was moved here. That's why. He didn't die there. It's considered a carcass. Ah. So now we have nothing in the production queue, though, for meat. Oh, there we go. Now we do. Okay, well, let me make, I don't know, uh, a million. I, I don't know how much meat can be made, so let's just hold shift and just make a hundred. And we'll have somebody work as a butcher now. Let's have uh, Cole's awfully busy. Let's give that to somebody else. Um, let's take a look at jobs. Uh, let's give... Who's good Who's good at, like, butchering? What, what would be butchering? Uh... Hunting, construct, tending? No. Um, cart. Well, cooking maybe. Mm, harvesting. I don't. I don't know what that would be under. Like you harvest meat, but you also cook meat. But you could also possibly like tailor like skin the meat. Um. Oh, here it is. Uh, the wounds. Hunting marked animals. Constructing, growing uh, crops, harvesting crops, digging and mining plants. Uh, let's see. Uh, producing meals and beverages. Pro oh, there we go. Butchering right there. We'll, we'll put Martin on that, too. In fact, let's make cooking a little higher priority. So Martin's going to come over here and start butchering the deer. Oh, there we go. Yep, the, the carcass has been removed. Now it's being butchered. Perfect. And then they'll come over here to make meals. Uh, so, whoever's free, I guess. We need more people. We need, like, one person on farming, one person on hunting, one person on building. Oh, dear. That's going to be a lot of work. Okay, but I guess you get the six point. All right, we got villagers that are idle. That happens sometimes. Actually, he's not necessarily idle. He's kind of just walking from job to job. Now he's making stuff. Cool. All right. Well, I do like that we've got this going. I want to make things more organized now. Uh, now that I know uh, a little bit more about the game, let's move some stuff inside the other area there. I think it'd be fine to have a desk in here, just a research station for Steve. We can also put a table in here now. So let's get that going. Medium wooden table. That'd be fine. Uh, let's put that up against the wall. 
And I hope people can actually access this. Let's see. One, two. Can they access those stools back there? I hope so. I don't know if the game is smart enough to where someone can, like, push the stool in. Like, in real life, you'd be able to squeeze in there. But it's fine. Okay, what else can we do? Right, so we need to build our uh, production things over here. We have our sewing station back. Uh, campfire butchering. All right, we're doing butchering outside. Uh, let's do the, the woodworking bench, which will eventually produce weapons for us for initial defense. Oh, what is that out there? Sticks. And that, of course, is our uh, archer station. But again, we don't have enough people to really, like, work on that. Oh, and we've got more stuff for storage. Meat and leather. And we need more storage. All right, it is quite apparent that we need a very large storage barn. You know what I'd like to do? I wonder if I could build a second floor up here and then maybe make a stairwell on the outside to go up to the top, like a second floor. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, if, I build a, if I build a floor here, can we do that? And can we add like a little... Oh, it'll work. Cool. Now, if I put a stairwell here... Oh, this is going to be weird, but neat. Since we're at, since I've got a lack of experience, anything that works is uh, a genius invention, I guess. We'll build a second floor for the warehouse. Appar apparently, let's add a window. Oh. I wonder if people can increase their construction skill by doing this, just like how in The Sims, if somebody is a bad cook, but they try to cook enough, eventually they'll learn. All right, ooh. Mushrooms just sitting out there in the rain? Come on now. All right, hopefully our people work on that. Let's add then a thatched roof here. And then we can try to move all of our stuff there. How do I up that level again? I forgot the controls for this already. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. R and F to rotate. I can't remember. This is the lower level. I want to put a roof on top, though. Oh, that looks like a spot to do it right there. Just want to put it in the corner. Uh... The stairwell was built. They did build the floor, but why can't they build the wall? Are we out of... Are we out of... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> oh, there's a roof there. Um, hmm. Okay. I thought that floor would automatically... Okay, let's deconstruct that. That makes sense. Oh, and now we have a lovely floor underneath. Ta-da! Well, we have plenty of logs sitting around. There we go. That makes sense. Cool. I love learning via trial and error in these games because sometimes you're like, does this work this way? And then when you find out how it works, you're like, ah, awesome. Okay, we'll throw another roof onto that. Cool, a neat little barn. These are all kind of placeholder designs until I figure out some better way to do it, but I like this so far. And we'll get that uh, door constructed and that window. And then we'll put all the other stuff up here. So let's make another de default stockpile up here. Oh, quick save came in there. Select that again. Okay, anything you guys can store, go right ahead. Good. Oh, why does it change color? I guess every time that you click, it lets you build a... Oh, it allows you to build a different stockpile. So these colors, like for example, this one I can make being wood products, and then this one could be weapons. So up here, this could all be like uh, wood, and this could be food or whatever. That's cool. I wonder if there's a... There should be a way to delete that and reorganize that. Oh, everybody's asleep. Good. And there's food inside. Great. Uh, I wonder if I can bring knowledge inside. There's a bunch of knowledge just sitting there. Let me try to do that again. Let's build a zone inside for knowledge now. Um, although we're kind of getting into trouble here because there's not really a lot of space for that. But we could... Well, let's make this knowledge up here. We'll make this all strictly... Are there bushes under there? That must have been hay bales or something. All right, let's make this for books. So this one's going to be only books. And we'll try to make the first floor... Uh, we'll get rid of the other ones so they don't have books. So I'm only going to want books stored in that one. Here they come back for more. I think it's Z and uh, C V, I think. No, V is to uh, see a building base. Uh, I've forgotten the construction controls, but I can manage. If we can figure out a way to click on those floors. By looking through the window, I guess not... Oh, there goes the building, though. Neat. Kind of a weird-looking structure without really any sort of detail. It's kind of just a big box store, but that's fine. Ah, and look at that. Books are actually being stored there instead. Maybe because it has a priority. Let's see. Profile, dumping. 
wonder if there's a way to increase um, value or importance for storing there. Now we have 230, so what would be the next best thing? I think stone blocks might be important. Um, but I want to get more people living here, so what could we do to get more people in our town? That'll give us metal, defenses, clay brick making. Furniture seems important. We could actually make a wooden hay bed, which would improve our people's lives quite a bit. Uh, and their happiness. So let's go with that. And then let's see. We have 160 points remaining after that. Let's go with stone block cutting. And then we can go ahead and start making limestone. We need more people to work these jobs, though. So hopefully we can uh, improve their beds now. We'll start one at a time. And we'll try to make a better... Uh, uh, bed or whatnot. Ooh, this takes up a lot more space. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's one longer. Uh-oh. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna have to make... <laughs> we're gonna really have to think about this a lot more. I need to start using more space, actually. And make the building more complicated. Uh, which is good, because then we could turn this into, like, a food storage, and we can actually build a decent house for our people. Uh, somewhere over here instead. So let's try to make a, a decent home now for everyone. This is great. Every every time we build a new building, it's like, oh, we need more room. And then we just build something new. And that's great. So we have a workshop here, storage here. We could do like a, you know, this could be like a material storage. This could be food storage. And then we could do a home somewhere nearby. Oh, boy, this is interesting. I like how we have a big road here. So let's build like a, a, our first house over here. We're going to build a serious home here now. So let's go with wooden wall. So let, does this tell us how long it is? It does. Let's go with a... Uh, let's go big. Let's go 14 by 14. And we'll get the butcher out of the way if we need to. And we'll leave that as a door. I'll replace all the walls and just put windows in there. That just seems to be a lot easier. Uh, let's get rid of the butcher station because we're not hunting any more deer at the moment and we'll reorganize everything Cool. I wonder if these wooden walls can also be used for defenses. They're probably very weak if if used for defense They're probably nowhere near like for example a wooden fortified wall might be a way to make a better wall Okay, so now we've got a much bigger building here and we can play all day in reorganizing our stockpiles and turning everything else into smaller workshops. Honestly, I would rather every building look different and unique than them all looking the same and just serving a different purpose. What do you guys think? Plant reaping something failed or whatever. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff inside. So we'll cut these down. We'll get those out of there. That's basically like deleting it. Same with the tree. Chop, chop, you gotta go. And same with the shrub. Oh, the deer just walking in, not even intimidated by our people. Construction skills have increased. To <laughs> Sorry, level three. All right, now, after this episode, we're going to uh, probably jump ahead a little bit to where I can build some more buildings, and I want to see some military stuff. So let me know what you're specifically interested in seeing in this game, and I'll try to make it happen. This is going to be a big game where a lot of stuff is going to happen, and building takes a while, but it's not like anything thrilling just yet until we start getting up to those stone building. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for leaving a like on the way out, and I'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed today's epic battle and big old building in Going Medieval. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh-oh, is it going to flood? Uh-oh. Stay tuned for tomorrow's flood.